What's the difference between quantitative and qualitative? Quantitative involves quantities, it involves numbers. So anything that you can only describe using numbers is quantitative. Qualitative variables, on the other hand, involve qualities. You can only use words, really, to describe qualitative variables. That's the difference. Let's check out these ones on the left and say which one they are. Time. For time, you need numbers, so it would be quantitative. For nationality, you would need a word. You can't say, I'm nationality six, so it's qualitative. Shoe size, again, is numbers, quantitative, as is the number of coins in a wallet. The giveaway is, is the phrase number. What about your gender? I am gender two. <laughs> but it's, you know, you need words, okay, so it's qualitative. And your weight needs numbers, so it's quantitative. What about a trickier one, the difference between discrete and continuous? I like to remember it like this. So discrete variables, you have a fixed choice of different options, different numbers. Whereas with continuous, you could have potentially unlimited decimals. That's the key difference between discrete variables, where it's fixed, and continuous variables, where you could go on for unlimited decimals. Let's look at some examples. Time could go on for unlimited decimals. You could have 5.2895 seconds, or you could continue forever with the decimals. So it's continuous. Nationality is a qualitative variable, so it's discrete. You only have a limited number of choices. Shoe size. A lot of students get this one wrong. Shoe size would be discrete. Your choices are fixed. You can have shoe size 9.5 or 10, but you can't have shoe size 11.642. You can't have unlimited decimals. What about the number of coins in your wallet? Again, that would be discrete. You can have 5 coins, 6 coins, or 1,000 coins, but you can't have 6.589 coins. Gender, well, very limited choice, so definitely discrete. And weight. Weight you could have unlimited decimal. You could be 12.684 stone. So this is a continuous variable. And that's the difference between quantitative using numbers and qualitative using words, and discrete with a fixed choice, or continuous variables with unlimited decimals potentially.